This video will talk about why I love Conversation View and its uses. A lot of people don't like Conversation View and that's why I created this video. I like it because it's less email to own, organize, and put away. It's easier to find my messages and you can see the evolution of a conversation. And that's important because if others already responded to something, I won't have to. For one, you get less email. So with Conversation View on, here I only have 47 messages. With it off, I have to sift through 77 messages. Also, when you're searching for messages, I put in these keywords, I got my one message. When conversation view is off and I put in these keywords, I get one, two, three, four, five, six messages that I have to sift through to find the information that I'm looking for. Many people don't like the fact that it's squishy. This lets you know how many messages are part of the conversation, but you can easily alleviate that by clicking on the three or clicking on expand all to get a nice neat stack of emails. When you click on the expand all, it will expand all your messages so you can read them in one shot or you can click on each message to take a peek and let me show you what that looks like. So here's my conversation view and if I want to expand it I can do so and I get this nice neat stack. I can also click on any message to take a peek and then close it back up. I can also click expand all and it'll expand every single message so I can read it in full. But when I go back and click on it again, it's all squished again. One way to get around that is if I expand it, and then let's say this one was the important one that I want left open all the time, I can add a star. Now when I go back, and click on it, it will keep all of them kind of collapsed, except for this one with the star, it'll stay expanded. Another worry that some people have is this trimmed message. They can't see the history that happened before this message unless they click on this trimmed message. So this can become worrisome. If I click on any of these messages, it'll have the trimmed message, but the first message doesn't have any trimmed message because it doesn't have any history. With that said, if I were to reply to this email, I get another trimmed message icon. I can easily remove it by pressing the arrow key on my keyboard, the down arrow key on my keyboard, and then pressing delete. No more history. You can also edit the history by clicking on the three dots and then taking out what you don't want. If I forward a message, all the history is expanded and I don't see those three dots. And if I need to, I can edit out information. Now the evolution of this conversation is that this person is asking for the status report. I respond to let them know I'll get it to them. Then I forward to my team a question about where the status report is and finally it's sent to me. My question to you is, do I respond to the original inquirer from the top or the bottom of this conversation? And the correct answer is that I would click on the top of the conversation and reply to this message to the original inquirer. If I wanted to see what's in that trimmed message, I can click on it and you can see it only contains the message above and not the rest of the conversation below. And that's it. 